one year on YouTube. It has been one year since I've been on YouTube specifically for creating content. I can't believe how fast a year has gone. I can't believe how much I've learned in a year. And I'm hoping to share that with you in this video. If you're considering YouTube or you're just curious why I'm doing it because I have a full-time job, how am I doing it with a full-time job? All the questions, I hope to answer those. And I hope for you to see and understand what this journey and what this last year has been like and what it may be like if you are considering it for yourself. The ways that YouTube has changed me in the last year. And it's not like I've made a radical personality change. It's just that these things have really transitioned these characteristics in my life very swiftly, very quickly and in such a, you know, concentrated way. Okay, so the first thing is goal setting. Of course, to be monetized, they already make goals. You have to have a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. And yes, when you are starting out, those numbers are constantly in your mind. But for me to be and to enjoy the journey on YouTube, I have to put those numbers aside. Now, my husband will say, oh no, you didn't. You came to me all the time in anguish over those numbers. But for really for the longevity, if I wanted to continue this, I know that I have to put the numbers aside. For me, it has to be more about that. Otherwise, you're not going to continue. And if you're thinking about doing YouTube and you're always thinking about the numbers, you're going to lose yourself because you're focused on, yes, you do need that as a goal to be monetized if that's what you want to do. But to really be successful for you personally, it's really about putting out videos that you enjoy. Anyway, the goal. Number one was a goal. YouTube sets the goals. I like that there's a goal to achieve and I like that it is set up in a way that you can see and track those. There's so much analytics that, you know, at the beginning I was really consumed with them and now I just want to put out good content. So that goes to my second reason and the second thing that YouTube has really improved and changed for me in my life and that is having an audience to share. I would go throughout my life, my day, my go through the house, go through, you know, in the car. And I've had this dialogue, like I'm like, there's been an audience, like there's somebody I should be talking to, sharing with, engaging with. And then I realized uh, very soon into YouTube that this is a place for that voice. This is my medium. This is my platform. And so I have kind of had this dialogue. And if that's you, if you have like a dialogue while you're doing something, you have some narrative and narration in your mind, it'd probably be a good idea to put that on a platform. You know, record yourself and go and do it because that's exactly what I had. Now, here's the interesting thing about me and doing that. I am a total introvert. Oh, you're gonna say nobody on YouTube is an introvert. Oh yes, we are. Probably more people are on YouTube are introverts than are not because we're not in a small group setting trying to make small talk. We're not having to talk about ourselves in any aspect that is uncomfortable for us. We're choosing the topic. We're not even sure anybody's listening and half the time to get through a video and talk to a small hole on a on an iPad or a camera or a phone to actually talk into a lens is so less intimidating than if talking to a real person. And that's how you end up sharing and explaining and doing because you are not aware. And that's what introverts, it's like when we aren't aware of ourselves and we're not aware of the social dynamic with other people, we tend to relax more and find our energy within ourselves as opposed to getting energy with other people. So that's why YouTube has really helped me to have an audience to share to who I can be who I am on this platform. The third thing is communication. The fact that I'm even still just like talking and sometimes in the back of my mind, I'm like, you're talking too much. And that's my big issue with communication is I don't want to bore people, but my communication has improve so much. One of the things I struggle with because I'm an introvert is actually communicating. I don't enjoy talking on the phone. I'm so physically aware of myself. And so if you can remove those things, I'm so much more natural. You would think at my age, you would think I wouldn't need practice in communicating, but I do. And I am, and I feel like it is improved because of YouTube. Another thing, probably one of the biggest things for me is I found a creative outlet. I thought just cooking and crafting and sharing that on YouTube would totally fulfill the crafting or the creative pursuit, and it does. 
But you know what else has been such a creative outlet for me? Actually editing. And even though this is the biggest hiccup and challenge in my YouTube journey, editing slows me down because it takes so long. It is actually one of my favorite parts because there's a creative element to it. Coming up with a thumbnail, coming up with a title, those are a little a little more creative, but the whole like trying to paint a picture, trying to illustrate for somebody in your words and actions and in your editing skills is almost like digital scrapbooking for me. I'm actually wrapping up scrapbooking. I've done it in a physical format and a digital format. I'm kind of wrapping that up because my kids are now older. I have scrapbooked. I probably have over 25, 30 scrapbooks and I've done that to document them and our lives and our family. But I'm actually shifting that creative energy to my own creative pursuits and actually being on YouTube and editing. And that's where that energy and that effort is kind of shifting to that and there are days I'm not gonna kid you there are days and if you're a person who's considering YouTube I'm not gonna go into it telling you it's a cakewalk it is not I've seen I know and when you hear somebody who blew up on YouTube or who got a thousand subscribers in three months and I'm like okay I don't want to be discouraged by that that's great but that's not the norm that's not what I hear and that's not what happened to me who's coming straight out the gate Here's something else I don't have because, I, you know, I was telling you I'm an introvert. I am not really active on the other social platforms. So it's not like I brought over a following to YouTube. It's not like I had a social media channel. I am finding my social presence on a platform in the last year. Here's another thing that is not comfortable for me at all, which has totally changed by being on YouTube. And that is making this a part of my life. It's the fact of having a camera as part of my life. Because I'm not and haven't been on social media, I am finding that one of the biggest challenges in addition to the time it takes for editing. But part of being on YouTube is to make sure I record all the good moments. I have to constantly remind myself that you got to have your camera on. you got to record this. There have been so many times I do even forget when I was a scrapbooker to take a photo. I would just forget and it's because I'm in the moment and I don't want to have this around and I didn't want to be that person that's always recording and I didn't want to be that person who's always putting a camera and I didn't want to be that person who's let's take a selfie. I didn't, not saying there's wrong with that person, but I didn't want to be that person. And why do you think that is? Because I'm an introvert and that seemed so extroverted to me. I just made everybody aware of what I'm doing. I made myself seen. I made myself the subject in a very physical way and it it made me uncomfortable. And so that has been a huge thing that I did not realize I was gonna have to embrace. So that is me basically and how this is all working out. I would love to hear your comments about things you'd love to hear and see if you have questions about being on YouTube for a year. If you're thinking about doing it, if you hear that dialogue, I say do it. What do you have to lose? There's no money. Don't even think about equipment. I say get your phone out, start recording, doing an intro, find out what you like, record you doing something. You have a hobby, put a camera up, do it. You already have that dialogue going on. You've already probably been telling yourself you should do it. Go ahead and do it. Just go ahead. This is your permission and this is your nudge to just go ahead and do it. So I have appreciated every single one of you who have followed. I appreciate every watch hour, every comment. I get those on my phone as a notification instantly. It's been amazing and I'm still enjoying it. So I'm still going to continue and I hope you will continue with me. Thanks so much. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you on the next video.